<laughs> You're keener than most, friend. <laughs> As are we. We can tell you've come for the Ravis fortune. <laughs> if the army surrounding the manor isn't any indication, it's more than worth the trouble. Hmm. And have you actually seen this treasure? <laughs> we don't need to see it. Let's look at what they've got guarding it. <laughs> Guards, dogs, traps, you name it, they've got it. And? And you came all this way to warn me? How thoughtful. I suppose so. Look, I've got a proposal for you. No thanks. And I've gotten an answer. No. Let's hear us out, mate. We can help each other. Yeah. My partner here has been inside. He's seen the traps they've set up close. <laughs> Hells, he walks straight into one of them and set up an alarm. Oi. Shut your... You said you won't tell anyone about that. Anyway, I got out just fine, and we're here now. So what do you say? It won't be easy to carry all that treasure out on your own, offering you a helping hand. I don't want all of it. Heck, I don't want one of it. Some of it. I've already got two hands, and that's enough for me. Damn you. So you think you're too good for us, is that it? Huh. I'm a thief, not an any. Say again? You're an ungrateful bastard, that's what you are. Are we, we done here? Listen. I don't have time to entertain new clowns. I have places to be. Hey. You're not going anywhere. Oh. I know. Get out my sight. Shite. Are you with me, mate? Speak to me. Hmm. Eight. Alpha Dog! DG. Oi. Welcome to the channel. Thieves! Let none escape! You won't get away! <laughs> They're on to us. <laughs> there he is, this way. <gasps> Got it. Like, how do you not notice me run down the stairs? We lost him. These two dimensional eyesight. This two dimensional eyesight of ours. <laughs> They can't have gone far. Let's check the back alley. All right. They're gone. We should be safe for now. Mm -hmm. That went better than I expected. I wish they could have seen the look on their faces. <laughs> ha! They deserved it for treating us like teapots. <laughs> we might be small, but we're smaller than no ever be. <laughs> you can say that again. We put our loaves together and no one can stop us. Take a butchers at all the loot we've got. Take a butchers? That's such an interesting phrase. Yeah, it's quite the haul. <laughs> Show a little more enthusiasm, mate. This is all ours now. Right. We knew what we wanted. We took it. And we took it with our own hands. Partner. That's the spirit. All the world's treasures are ours for the taken. Taken? Taken. You say so, partner. Destroy. I do. Mark my words. We're going to be the greatest tea leaves the world's, the world's ever seen. Why do you say tea leaves? <laughs> Eaves? <laughs> tea leaves. <laughs> oh. 
That's adorable. Hmm. Hmm. Darius. This is no time for nostalgia. I need to get one of those letters for myself. Let's see, what do you have in your pockets? Oh, healing grapes and inspiring plums. I will take all of them. Is it kind of funny how we can go up and just like steal from people? Heh, I thought you won't be missing this. You just walk up to people and steal from them. Like, hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey, what's going on in your pockets? Energizing pomegranate. I don't know what BP is, but I'll take it. You don't need that. I mean, if you don't notice that it's gone, that's your problem. Can I steal from you? No. Is that from you? No. You can. Gotta save again because you already robbed a bunch of people. Leave that there, and we're gonna go steal from this lady that was standing by here. So, uh, Rob. More pomegranates, a nut. All of life. The other kids will bring us back to life, so. I'll be needing that. I didn't have to buy any supplies, did I? Well, no one seems to have a thing. I don't know this floor at least. She seems like you have to go down. Yeah, we gotta go down one more level. Oh, it's this lady over here. See yeah, if they have one. Feel. Iron axe, iron spear, and a composite bow. You're just like stacking up. Like, my whole process. Thank you so much. I don't think you need that, but you know, it's all cool. Let's see what I can do with the stuff we stole. <laughs> not sure how I can steal someone's bow from them and they don't even realize. Like, how do you not realize a weapon disappearing from your hands? Well, I can't use axes or bows. Okay. But can I wear a leather hat? Alright, Iron Helm gives extra physical defense. Doesn't mess up anything else. Oh, you don't get any elemental defense. Ah, that might be a little bit of a problem. That's a lot more physical defense, though. Uh, we'll go back. What else do we pick up? What other vests? Same thing. Oh, we got an accessory that increases our evasion. I remember that. And we can optimize it. This is the best. A buckler, Iron Helm, Sneaking Dagger, and Longsword. Nah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that just for the beginning beginnings of things. There's no one else in town that we can steal from. Anything in this house we can take? Oh, we already took it all. Let's get out of here. I do love this little she shanty that's going on. It's quite nice. So we can rob all the people that we can talk to, which is kind of weird. Why would I steal from this poor person? All right, if I can steal it, sure. All right, I'll take it. This girl standing in front of this door. Fear of justice. Wow. Terrible. It's kind of cool, though, that they actually have these... Look, looks like decent weapons. I can't even be upset with that. They seem to be really good weapons. They had inside the pub. Anyone here we can steal from? Nope. Can't talk to you. Person who owns the pub isn't here either. I'm shopping that side. Oh, he definitely has it. Wealthy merchant, when you've been in this business as long as I have, the Ravises will be begging you for a visit. <laughs> it's all about experience. <laughs> Time to get to work. Lucky for me, your experience hasn't taught you when to keep your mouth shut. I'll come back for that. I want to see in the shop. A feather saber, huh? Is it better than what I have? Oopa, I'm loving your steam, bro. I'm getting ready to steam Geshen Impact right now, but I'm still tuned in. Sweet! 
I'm glad to hear that. But I gotta stop playing Geshin too. Geshin has really interesting. I mean, it's really interesting too. I've been watching people play it. And I'm like, I should start playing Geshin. I should actually add that to rotation too. I feel like it's kind of weird to do it, but I feel like I should. I feel like I should. Let's see, what are we gonna do? Are we taking this arcane knife? Oh, it's too grand. Ah, oh, too expensive right now. It's an arcane knife? I kind of want that arcane knife. There's also an arcane hatchet in my wolf's bow. Hmm. If Pepper Saber puts people to sleep, I would actually really help us. 20% accuracy. Hmm. I think we might... Actually, you know what? I think we might go for the dagger. Because we have two special daggers. Can I put two daggers on? Actually, what can we sell? Let's see what we can sell. Because there's some stuff I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be using anyway. Sell a bunch of stuff. Because iron actually can't use. Leather hat we're going to keep. I don't want to get rid of it though. Man. I don't want to get rid of it. I kind of want to keep this stuff. Pretty early in the game. But I'm totally going to buy... I'm totally going to buy that dagger. Let's see if I keep hiccuping on Mike. I'm not really sure if, it, if it's hitting it or not. I apologize wholeheartedly. I have, like, the ultimate hiccups. Get up for a thousand gold if you buy this dagger. I feel like we should. Just for the elemental attack. 32 physical and... 42 elemental. I'm going to take it. Go buy it. Yeah, we'll equip it as well. Nice. Oh, we got a new dagger. Got an equipment real quick. So our sword and we can't wear two. Hey, thank you for the follow, Joe underscore 42 O. It's funny. It's, it's funny for me to say one's name but at the same time. But I feel like I shouldn't. But thank you so much for the follow, Joe. Welcome to the Ventropolis. We appreciate you being here. Coming over from Twitter? Sweet! Thank you so much! Thank you so much for popping over from Twitter. I gotta I gotta give you a follow too, mate. Let me do that. Let me do that right now, actually. I got a lot of folks on Twitter uh, also streamers. How's the day's going? Day's going really, really well. Uh, it'll update in a tick. So try in a few minutes. If you're still here. You know? No worries, boss. I'm here for the stream. Sweet! I appreciate you being here for the stream. We're about to rob a merchant for a... Uh, what is it? A rite of passage? Some kind of message so that we can go and rob something else. <laughs> Playing as a thief right now and just stealing some people's stuff. Getting things out their pocket. Oh, we already stole it. We already stole the ring. All right. Well, we got to steal this guy's stuff. We got a new dagger, though. So maybe, maybe not. Let's steal from him. What's the chance? That ever introduction, 100%. I'll take it. I will take that. Thank you so much. Let's see if he notices. He probably won't. Now, Pleasure doing business with you. Now to pay a visit to the Rapus Manor. Looks like a new age version of Zelda. You know what? There's another game I want to play on stream that really is like, like what you just said perfectly. Uh, I, I forgot what it's called, but I definitely want to play that too. I want to play that on stream too before today's over. So you might actually go through that just the same. But it's a, another game that looks similar to this that has the same feeling as like an old school Zelda. Oh, so good. It's a bullet hell game, though. Um, I think it's called Arch Age? Or Ar no, Archvale. Archvale. That's a good game. It really, it, it really pulls in the feelings of old school Zelda with a really uh, modern, like, uh, bullet hell game. Or like the feeling of um, Dead Cells. So... I want to play that on stream too. There's so so many games that came out that are like really really cool. Really really cool. I gotta play it. I gotta play it. All right, so let's keep going. We gotta go back to the mansion. We saved up just in case anything happens. We robbed everyone just because they gave me the ability to steal things. And I said, sure, why not? I'll take some things and steal it. Why are you sticking, bro? You got the you got the thing. Two guards at the gates. If I can fool them, I'm in. Time to sell the merchant. How are you going to sell the merchant with no merchandise? Uh, the bloom is a nice touch to this. Oh, yeah, right? 
the bloom is really really interesting for a uh a sprite based game and it works out really nicely it brings a bit more life to things good day sirs i've come to call on the ravises would you kindly announce my arrival nice pop to it very much true they're not seeing anyone today be gone with you at once be gone i say Huh. Something tell ones this one's bark is worse than his bite. My sincerest apologies. Allow me to introduce myself. You see, I'm a merchant of some repute. <laughs> a merchant of repute, you say? Huh. Don't make me laugh. You ought not judge a man by his robes. As a matter of fact, I was personally summoned by the lady of the house. And I doubt she would react kindly upon hearing I was turned away. What? Summoned? You? <laughs> you think we're going to leave that card swallow? If we had a leaf for every rotten thief who was given us that story, we'd be rich as the rabbises. Oh, they're called leaves. Oh, okay, cool. But since we aren't, we're here protecting their fortune from would-be swindlers like you. Heh. <laughs> I thought you thought you can outsmart us, huh? The next time you're summoned, remember to bring your letter. Uh -huh. Would you be referring to this letter, perchance? How'd you get that? It must be fake. Desperate times. Now for the finishing blow. If you still aren't convinced, I fear there's not much that I can do. I'll take my leave, but I will give Lady Bravis a full report on what happened today. I wonder how she will see fit to deal with this affront to my good name. Wait, sir, we're only doing our jobs. Yeah. You may pass. You have my gratitude. Why, thank you, gentlemen. Hey, right, we're inside. Time to rob the place. Now then. <laughs> now where the real phone begins. Hey, where am I going? Press backspace to skip. We're not going to skip. I haven't seen this. I'll just sneak in through that window over there. I mean, you could, like... Alright, you never know what danger might appear, so save often. You'll find save points in overworlds and areas and in... Okay, cool. I just love the she shanty sounds. Like this, the music in the background is like awesome. I want to talk to you, but I also don't want to talk to you. I just want to steal what you got in your pocket. Let me talk to you first. No, I was just freaking my duty. I was right here at my post. Okay, it seems like you're panicking about nothing. I'm just gonna go behind you and steal it from you. Candy and a tree nut? I'll take it. You really got stealing from folks. Don't be needing that. A broadsword. Oh, I can actually put that on, can I? I think we can equip a broadsword. Let's see if we can go on this broadsword. Oh, yeah, we can. 22. Yeah, much better. Much better. Can't go that way. Can we go inside there? Nope. Oh, uh -huh. well, the shrub is inside that window. They want to actually go through the window. And go back out. Can we go back out? Yeah. I want to see what's around. I don't think there's much on this map besides that. Can we go this way? There's some guards over here. We can just walk out. There's a lot of guards. I want to see what they have on them. Gates are open for me, so we can always come back in. I feel like we should go out now and steal from them. I know I'm being a bit ridiculous with it, but I want to see what they have in their pockets. Ah, uh, we'll be done. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just go over here and take it. 
I'm just really curious as what's in their pockets, and there doesn't seem to be like any kind of negative effect from me walking around just robbing people blind. So I will happily take some extra supplies. No one seems to need that. Alright, cool. Nasty, neat, nasty gaming. Looks like Star Ocean. Uh, old school Star Ocean. Very true. Very true. It does have a little bit of feeling from old school Star Ocean. Wakeful Stone. Percent sleep. I'll take that. That might be useful for me later. Let's see later. It does look like a little bit, like a little bit of old school Star Ocean. You're all right. I didn't think about that till now. Welcome in, mate. Nice to have you in, uh, in our stream today. Rob a bit more. Herb of Awakening. You have three of those? Why do you have three of these? I'll take them, though. They're stealing things from everybody at this point. <laughs> they give us the ability to steal, and if it has, like, a chat box on it, I'm just gonna take... I wonder what they say. I wonder what they say. Can I steal a bone and an energizing pomegranate? That's just a modest price if sold. That's surprising. We need to get some more liquids here. Cup of tea! That was a lot with tea. You couldn't get through? Oh, through Star Ocean! Don't blame yourself, mate. <laughs> Don't blame yourself. Star Ocean got a little bit difficult at some point. There was a really big uh, difficulty spike uh, around the mid game, if I remember correctly from it. So we didn't actually get to finish. It's alright. Definitely go back and do it again. A lot of people stop playing around the mid cycle just because of um, the spike. It's alright. That's what they say to me. Never. This is a resident of the house Ravis. No letter of introduction, no entry. Well, that's fine, because I have the letter. Let's see. Those without the proper invocation are not allowed to pass. Well, I got that. Thank you so much. What do you have to say? Does this have an end game? Yes, it does. The end game of, um, of Octopath Traveler is pretty much uh, something similar to like your... How do I say? It? Like your traditional uh, Final Fantasy cycle. We pretty much gotta like save the world from some crazy thing, from what I understand. The thing that makes Octopath Traveler really interesting is that for every single character you collect, you're gonna play a different storyline. So when you go and you meet a new character or you, you're introduced to new characters, they're gonna have different skills that they can only have access to. And then on top of that, uh, they're gonna have their own section of story that you can go through and play through. Currently, we're on Theron's story, and he's a thief, so we're doing his thief story to start up before we meet the next character. And when we meet the next character, we'll go back and play all those things beforehand to see what's going on with their life, up until the point where they meet the character that we currently have. That's pretty much what makes Octopath Traveler really, really interesting. You get eight different characters, they all have their own different paths, and they all play very differently. They also use the job system like it would in Final Fantasy Tactics. So, um, it's not the same way, like, you can just, you get JP for every hit you do, you get JP for every fight you end up finishing. And, um, it increases difficulty quite a lot. Alright, this is our house, manor of House Ravis, only those with official business may enter. Cool. They're pretty much all gonna tell me that I shouldn't be here. All is well around the rest of the gate. Why are you telling me that? I'm not a, I'm not a guard. Puppy! Can't steal from the puppy. Can't steal from that puppy. Can I, can I rub the puppy? I wanna pet them. Grr. Another grr. A third grr. <laughs> Alright. The dogs hate us. The dogs hate us. So we know that. Let's sneak inside. We stole from all the guards, so... That's great. We got a bunch of supplies. I can definitely go on with that. Wait, so it's an eight-man crew with their own playable background while you move forward? Yeah! It's it's an eight-man crew with, your own playable, with their own playable backgrounds. You're going to be introduced to them uh, throughout the story when you get to them. But you only can play four characters at a time, but you have eight people in your party. So, it's definitely really cool. Really, really cool. Uh, it's a chest over here. I'm really just like stealing everything. Oh, there's a guard! Crap. So this is the first time we've actually entered combat. Exploit your foe's weakness to turn the tide of battle. I don't know his weakness, but it will tell you at the bottom. Uh, Rappo. Do, 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 do. Capital R, we're into you into the raffle, so expect smart capital R, space, a number one. Or how many entries that you want to put in between 1 and 15. If you're just joining the channel, you most likely only have one. Because it costs 100 beans to enter. Uh, okay, cool. So we got exploit weaknesses. Alright, cool. Cool. And lower their sheets points and break through them. 
sounds like a basic break sass them. So we don't actually know what the weakness of this enemy is yet. We can't see it. Uh, we can boost it. Boost it and do some thief skills. We don't need to steal from them, but we could also use wildfire and do some fire damage. I didn't know he had magical skills. Uh, let's see what he got. Let's steal from him. 15% chance. Eh, we didn't get anything. He missed again. That evasion ring is actually working already. We blocked the second attack. But took 17 points. Not bad. Let's attack and see what the weaknesses are. He's weak against daggers. Look at that. That was easy. Enter boost mode to augment your powers. All right, so we're going to enter boost mode and we get more power for attacks. It costs one BP for every boost skill that we use. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So let's continue with that. And it's capital R to enter the raffle. So, um, capital R, expression card, capital R, space one. Oh, uh, we're going to play Persona on here too. We got to get back to that. There's so many games we haven't finished on stream yet that we have to go back to. And I got to start Persona over again. I have to go, I'm going to go all the way back to the remake of um, Digital Devil Saga. Because I, I, that was the first Persona series game I played. I loved it to death. We got to start there. And then we'll mess around with the other ones. We have all of them sitting about, actually. I have them on Steam. All right, so let's go. Uh, thief skills, we're gonna boost up, like they said. We're gonna do a, two attacks. Take out this guard. Is he stunned up? No, he wasn't stunned. Nah, he came back really hard, though. We can take a few points. Doesn't seem to be doing too bad. Um, let's boost it again. Can't boost again, right around the points. We have no BP. Can we steal from him? 69%? Give me. Give me your... Oh, nothing to steal. Crap. All right. All right. Let's try another attack. We got one point for boost. But if we can get that, we're going to break him. We're going to be able to get two more BP. Take a steal. 85%? Give me something. Firestone. I'll take it. Fire Soul Stone. All I have is five round. Yeah, you got to get more, bro. If you really like Persona, oh, you got to play through some stuff. Let's boost up. Let's get a couple attacks in. He's weak against these dagger strikes. Let's go. One, two. He's down. There you go. Pretty cool. We got three experience for that and two JP. Items obtained. None. <laughs> we sold some items. We didn't get anything else from him. We probably would have got it from him if we were just fighting him. Let's actually recover. Yeah, let's recover. We used a bunch of SP in that fight. A lot more than I thought we would end up using. Do we need to recover, really? Eh. Nah, we're okay. We'll hold on to that item. We need to go that way, but we'll worry about that later. Inspiring Plum. It turns SP to us, I think. And there's another chest upstairs. I'm sure you could run faster. Oh, another set of guards. These guards are already coming at us. All right, let's get these. Uh, let's get them stunned. So we don't have. We have BP. Let's do a double attack. We know they're weak against daggers. Let's get rid of one. Well, he goes after us. What is the next turn? This guy does. I fell in love with four. I can only get it on the Vita, and it wasn't practical for me. Yeah, that's. I've heard a lot of people say that. We're actually gonna back out of our BP mode. Just because of like they weren't able to get in on anything else, it was like, ah, oh, you know what? Why? Why am I gonna be playing this? But truth, like in all truth, it's it's so much fun. It's such a good game. I feel like everyone should take a time some time and actually play it through. I'm gonna have to stack up our BP real quick. We're gonna keep it going. What's going next? Next turn is him. We'll stun him up again. Hopefully. No, we didn't. We messed that up. Pass that up. Who's next? This guy's next. Stun him. He's break. Our turn comes up again. We're going to activate our BP here. We're going to attack this guard. Well, he has the next turn. Oh, no worries. Can we actually knock him out? Let's see. Nope. He didn't knock him out. 26 points of damage on that. Oh, two more hits. Taking a lot of damage. Uh, we have to get rid of one of these guards. We have more points to boost. So we're gonna go for a double attack again. And we're gonna go for the guy in back. Me and my IP is just something so I can rip it there. Definitely, I would say definitely do it. All right, one guard down. We're gonna take a bit of damage on that. That was spin attack. Ooh, we have we're taking a lot. This is like a beginning match too. 
SP, BP, confusion, and awakening.